We don't go out there and hunt people that are brown and black. So, you know, I don't get it. When he says, where, I don't know where this is coming from, it, th th this is exactly the problem. This is why you do not deserve to be funded as a department. Well, that sound bite you heard there was uh, from Poder in Action last week, calling for a chunk of the city's police budget to be moved to other social, health, and educational programs aimed at reducing crime and violence. Right now, there is a nationwide call for police reform following the death of George Floyd in police custody. President Trump has announced an executive order on police reform. That order includes the creation of a federal database that will keep track of officers tagged for using excessive force. And Scott, both Republicans and Democrats in Congress, they're feeling the pressure right now to get some sort of legislation on the book soon, possibly before July 4th recess. Yeah, and we have seen a lot of back and forth on this already. Earlier this month, the Phoenix Law Enforcement Association released a statement addressing the recent protests happening here in Phoenix. And in it, they acknowledged the frustration felt by the protests, adding that officers have a duty to protect the public. So plea is all about promoting the positive role police officers have in our community. So discuss the latest on this. We are joined by Please President Britt London. Britt, thank you for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Scott. Uh, you know, the officers, I, I think they're doing a, a really nice job here in Phoenix with all these protests, uh, letting the protests happen. But while at the same time, in some situations, uh, being in uh, what could be dangerous positions, uh, what is please uh, position on all of this? You know, we're very proud of our members that are out there protecting the citizens here in Phoenix. And as you see, I mean, we are able to uh, allow these protesters to make their voices heard uh, and in, in a way that is peaceful. And, and that's great. That's how it's meant to be. Uh, it's when a few uh, groups such as Poder want to push this uh, misinformation out there uh, and try to make things seem bad. Poder is a group that plays on people's situations. Uh, they try to make undocumented people think that the police are the worst thing in the world and that they are going to uh, you know, try to harm them, take their kids away from them. Uh, it, it's just it's, it's the rhetoric that we continue to hear, but I think people are seeing what the Phoenix Police Department is all about. We're doing a great job and we do have a lot of support out there from the community. Yeah, and speaking of the support, when, when, when it comes to uh, defunding departments, which is kind of all the talk right now, uh, it seems like the majority of Americans don't, don't want to see that. I don't think so. I, you know, it is a, uh, it's an irresponsible and dangerous notion, uh, and I've yet to see it defined. Uh, you can see on social media, defund the police. Well, you know, one group will say, well, that just means taking money and giving it to programs that help people, uh, you know, a, a greater welfare. And then I've heard, no, we want to take salary and pension from officers. Uh, it's dangerous and it just doesn't make sense. You know, if you don't have a good police department, what happens to your tax base? Do uh, businesses and residents stay if they don't feel safe? Uh, you know, if, if there's no police around to take action when crimes are committed at a business, uh, what happens? Insurance rates go up. Retailers are forced to raise prices. It just doesn't make sense. What's your reaction to President Trump's uh, announcement yesterday on police reform? Uh, of course, Democrats and Republicans are coming up with their own legislation and they're still going back and forth. But what do you have to say about what President Trump said yesterday? You know, I'd, I'd have to see some of the criteria like for the list to put, uh, you know, officers on that have had problems. Uh, you know, here in Phoenix, we have the uh, AZ Post, Arizona Police Officer Standards of Training. Mm -hmm. uh, they're the ones that certify us. They look at us. Um, there, there's a lot of things that go on, and I think the public just doesn't know that. If there is someone that should not be a police officer and that person's released from a department, they usually don't get hired again, especially in the same state. Uh, if they do apply somewhere, uh, th that government entity will definitely get a hold of the department that they left and find out why they left. Um, so that's, you know, it, it's something I'd have to see the criteria on to be on the list. But, you know, we are about transparency and right. accountability, always have been. So if, if that's something that helps, then, then maybe it's something that will get the community and uh, the nation uh, to, to understand that police officers are not doing everything that, that is, uh, they're not doing what the public or some of these groups are saying that they're doing. It's just, yeah. it, it's insane to think that every police officer is a racist, violent person. It's just not true.
Uh, I wanted to ask you, and we're running out of time here, so just a quick response if you could. Um, I've always said that being a police officer is a really difficult job, especially right now with all the scrutiny. Uh, really, like you mentioned, because of a few bad apples, because we know most police officers do a great job. Are you worried that uh, police departments will have a tougher time hiring from here on out, or do you think the opposite will happen? You know, I, I, I think it would be, I, I don't think things are going to remain the same for hiring. This, this has to have an effect on people. Uh, and through the years, we have seen uh, less and less people uh, want to be police officers. But, you know, here in Phoenix, we're still hiring. We're still getting uh, 30 to 40 people for a class. Um, so people are still interested. Uh, again, you know, I, I, I don't know if this division, and that's what it seems to be, this rhetoric that's being pushed is to divide the people from the police. I don't know what the effect is overall, but we here in Phoenix are still hiring. All right. Well, that's good to know. Uh, Britt, thank you for your time this morning.